Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna take you through my winter setup. There was one new addition just walking to the car. So yeah, just talk a little bit about my new setup. And if you're new, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps to support the channel. Location. Getting a bit cold. We had to move because Rambles couldn't get the stakes in. Anyway, first up of my winter setup is the Wild Country Helm 2, superseded more recently, I think, by the Wild Country Compact Helm 2. So this is the older version. I don't think you can get these anymore, or they're really hard to get hold of, but this is a fantastic little tent. So it's technically not actually a four season tent, but one the side sections don't go right down to the floor so snow drift would get under if you were using it so you can't that's one reason why you couldn't call it a, a four season tent but i took it out in the storms earlier this year storm kira and it did fail admittedly however probably due to poor sort of location and, and pegging more than anything so i think this is going to really suit me in the winter it's freestanding so you can move it around and find a suitable spot as i've just done there and strong as anything, once all the guy lines are pegged out and all the stakes are in, it's going to cause me no issues in the winter. Inner and outer, you can just have the, um, you can take the inner out if you want to, so it creates more space inside. But yeah, this is going to be a great little tent for me in the winter. And she retails at around, always a she, around £200 at the moment online. I think I got it for slightly less actually, or quite a bit less, around £160. And I've had it for about a year and a half now. And strong as anything, fully waterproof, never leaked, no issues with anything really apart from the storm. But these kind of tents aren't really built for that. Let's take you inside. First up then is the under mat. So that is the Ridge Thermarest Ridge Rest Solite. Now it's got an R value of around 2.8 and weighs about 400 grams. And in conjunction with the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, which is the sleeping pad that I use, it just provides a really good under layer. The Thermarest Neo Air X Lite isn't quite warm enough, I'd say, for the depths of winter for the minus temperatures. So yeah, our value of around 2.8 and that just provides like a really good kind of under layer um, when doubled up with the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite just to kind of provide a bit more warmth. It's a bit of, it's a bit annoying to carry it in your rucksack so you have to roll it up so it forms like a roll rather than an actual the square version. Thermarest do a, another mat and that's slightly easier to strap to your pack so this does take a lot of space up but it's it's really really good when combined with the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. 
And so the third thing then is the Thermares Neo Air X Lite. Now this is the extra large version. It's got a R value of around 4.6. So when combined with the ridge rest, that brings me up to around seven R value. Now that's roughly what the Thermares Neo Air X Therm is. And that's a, that's a really good winter sleep pad. So combining the two, I'm getting an R value of seven. So that's gonna, I think, keep me warm enough weighs about 400 grams as I mentioned it's the extra large version and I've used it for over a year now and really really good really durable it punctured once on one of my trips sent it back to Thermarest no issues whatsoever they replaced it and sent it back to me so really looking forward to uh, having some good sleeps with that in in the winter over the coming months last up then it's a new purchase for me so I've not actually used it yet obviously we're in lockdown so can't go camping but I've got the this little beauty, so it's the Rab Solar 4 Extra Large. I was planning on getting a new sleep pad and this one was on offer. I got it for around just under 100, 100 pounds, which is really good. Normally it's around 140 pounds, really heavy. But I think that's to be expected for a winter uh, sleeping bag. So what I really liked was the fact it's extra large, so it will suit me down to the ground. I'm tall and I've mentioned that in the past synthetic so I've got the Rav Neutrino 400 XL version and uh, obviously a down bag there and that's a three season this is four season with the down bag I'm always worried about condensation in the tent because it's down we can't get it wet or even though it's protected on, on the Rav bags and it's just it's it's a bit because it was so expensive it was over 300 pounds I, I just worry about getting it wet and just um, Obviously you need something warmer for the winter. So this is synthetic, so I can chuck water around this. I can put it in the washing machine. It's not going to get wet. It is quite heavy, but as I said, but then, so a lot of guys I've seen out there now are buying the Rab Ascent. Uh, yeah, Rab Ascent. And that goes up to, I think, 1,100, which is the fill power of the down. A lot of people are getting the 900. Now that's well over twice the price of this. I can't find the ratings for that online. So this has a comfort rating of minus three slightly warmer than my rub neutrino it is for season the ascent comments below i don't know what the the comfort rating is on it i can't find it online but i know the limit is minus 18. this is minus nine i did read somewhere that the the, the comfort rating for the rab ascent was around minus six i believe correct me if i'm wrong comments below i'm sure someone will, will, will mention that now for me a couple of degrees off and you know well, well over 150 pounds more than this bag i mean i'm happy with this with the with the double layer that i mentioned the the, the pad and the under layer this nice warm sleeping bag really good price really good deal i'm i'm to be honest i'm really happy with it i've tried it out in the apartment indoors and it feels pretty warm in there so i really can't wait to uh, for lockdown to end to to test that out yeah guys let me know what you are using as well i'd be really interested to see what your setups are for, for this winter and uh, yeah comments below if you've got any comments on on the gear i've shown you here i'd really like to to hear what everyone's kind of using this winter to to kind of keep them warm and um hopefully we can all get get out and go camping soon let's get this stuff packed up eh? definitely gonna have to get a bigger pack if i'm gonna fit everything in for winter Feety central around here, check it out. Some actually really cool stuff. Right, I do actually put some research into these videos and a little bit of effort, believe it or not. So subscribe if you're new. Some people who watch the channel have not subscribed, so please do that, really, really helpful. And hit the thumbs up if you like it, bell no notification so I can send you updates of new videos every time I publish one. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. That made me realise how much I want to go camping again. I can't wait. So yeah, take care. See ya.